Hey guys, I'm Jennifer Babin and welcome to Ion Columbus. So we're going to get right into it. Today we have Trey Thomas with us and we're going to be talking about the upcoming events that's happening at the Columbus Ice Rink. Um, so Trey, would you, do you mind sharing with us what is going on on April 6th and 7th? Um, yes, uh, we're having our first annual uh, Jerome Burchard 24-hour hockey classic. Um, it's to celebrate Jerome Burchard. Um, the career he had in Columbus with the Columbus Cotton Mouths and the legacy he left behind in the hockey community. Perfect. And we also have Jerome Burchard himself with us today. Hey guys, thanks for having me. Thanks for being here. <coughs> well, I uh, think it's important, kind of important if it's my name's on it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so tell us, Trey, what significance does this have onto the community and what's the purpose of this event? Yes, um, this is a show that in the South, we do have a hockey community. Uh, we had one for since what, 98? Since 98, and it, it's steadily growing in the South. Hockey is popular in the South. So I think this tournament is the first ever in its kind in the South. So I think it's gonna bring awareness to Columbus in the hockey community and also to the legend Jerome itself. Do you mind sharing some information about Jerome? Or Jerome, do you mind sharing us some information about yourself <laughs> well, how, how and much, your career? How much time do we have? <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just kidding. No, you know what, I was uh, uh, born in Regina, Saskatchewan, lucky enough to uh, uh, have been drafted by the Hartford Whalers, um, signed with the LA Kings, uh, mm -hmm. went to three NHL camps. Um, from those experiences, uh, played in New Haven, Connecticut for a year, mm -hmm. uh, four years in Birmingham, Alabama, and I've been here in Columbus ever since, since 96, 97. So uh, mm -hmm. Columbus is home. and. Uh, you know what, I think uh, in general, I think hockey and sports uh, can really uh, teach life lessons to young individuals. And uh, uh, I just think hockey's the, the best sport there is. So um, anyways, that's everything. <laughs> Perfect, you are definitely an icon within the community. Um, so Trey, tell us a little bit about what they are going to expect during these next two days um, for the Jerome 24 hour hockey. Yes, so on April the 5th um, is the proclamation for Jerome. So it's going to be Jerome, Jerome Bouchard Day on April the 5th. <laughs> um, so we're going to be celebrating Jerome with the mayor, uh, Mayor Skip. Everybody's going to come down and celebrate Jerome himself on the day on April 5th, starting at 12 o'clock on April the 6th, 12 a.m., I'm sorry. Um, we're going to have 24 hours of hockey. So it's going to start from the River Dragons game at 7 p.m. on April the 5th all the way to 7 p.m. April the 6th. So we have hockey going on all day, Perfect. so for 24 hours. And Jerome, how do you feel about having this day? Well, you know what I mean? Uh, obviously, uh, very, uh, what's the word? I mean, I'm just overwhelmed. Like, I mean, yeah. not too many people have that honor. So um, obviously, it's, it's uh, an honor, and it's uh, for a great cause to basically where uh, raise awareness that you know we do have hockey we have uh, it's available for kids it's available for adults mm -hmm. uh, at any time you know there's always something going on down there all right and we'll be right back after these messages the first annual Jerome Bichard 24 hours of hockey classic will be held April the 5th and the 6th at the Columbus ice rink local hockey players embark on a full 24 hours of hockey beginning with the first puck drop on Friday night and continuing until 7 p.m. Saturday evening, just in time to watch our River Dragons play their game at the Columbus Civic Center. This event will bring awareness to our hockey community in the city of Columbus and in the South, while also helping sponsor kids who can have the opportunity to learn the sport of hockey and sponsor their equipment with our new Columbus Urban Hockey Program, United We Play. So please come out on and enjoy the first annual Jerome B. Shard 24 Hours of Hockey Classic on April the 5th and the 6th at the Columbus Ice Rink. Welcome back to Eye on Columbus. Again, I'm here with Trey and Jerome, and we're talking about the 24-hour hockey. Um, just to end this conversation, uh, when is this? Uh, give us the date, the time, and where it's going to be at. Yes, um, it's a 24-hour event um, starting on April the 5th at 1 p.m. It's going to be a proclamation for Jerome Bouchard, Jerome Bouchard Day, um, from 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. And the hockey game starts at 7 p.m. with the Columbus River Dragons 
and the puck drops April 6th at 12 a.m. for the Jerome 24-Hour Hockey Classic on uh, April the 6th from 12 a.m. to 3 p.m. Then we go to the Legends game for 4.30. Then the River Dragon game starts at 7. So it's going to be our 24 hours of hockey. That's going to be a lot of different times and different events. And it's going to be super exciting. I know it's going to lead up to the Legends game. Yeah. Do you want to, <laughs> do you want to tell a little bit about the Legends game? Well, I mean, uh, it's kind of funny because I just, uh, my daughter, my oldest daughter just got married this past oh. weekend. And the Legends game is actually more stressful putting it together. <laughs> I'm kind of in charge of uh, getting all these, all my old guys back. It's guys that I played with back 96, 97. Uh, Mike Martins, uh, Frankie Willette, uh, uh, Brian Adelski. Uh, anyways, that crew. Then it's some of my players that uh, have played for me uh, starting in 04, 05. Um, and then all the way up to some uh, guys that uh, played for the River Dragons uh, in the last couple of years. So wow. uh, we have a total of almost 40, 40 players mm -hmm. that come back, which is really unbelievable, uh, a feather in Columbus's hat. These guys uh, have spent a good time here and they come back here and just love this community. So it's, uh, it, it's, it's, really, it's really a feather in, hat of, uh, in our hat for uh, Columbus to continue to have these guys come back and and know that they were an important part of this whole legacy of hockey in Columbus, Georgia. So tell me, with all these different players coming back, tell me the difference from what it was then with those players until what it is now coaching the current players. Right. Uh, well, back in the day, um, I used to run around and have a good time. Uh, <laughs> um, I'd like to say not assaulting people, but I mean, you, you know, you... Uh, you, something needs to happen in a hockey game and I'm protecting you, Trey, you're my best player on the team. And, I appreciate it. You know, I'm just, I'm protecting you, making sure you feel comfortable. Uh, somebody's trying to, you know, bully you a little bit and I go in and take care of business and uh, I go in the penalty box, sit for five minutes and uh, <laughs> kind of thing. Fast forward to uh, hockey today, we still have a little bit of that, mm -hmm. but that's kind of going out the wayside. Uh, you know what, the Columbus River Dragons are the closest to what it used to be back in 96, 97. Yeah. And uh, uh, obviously we're hockey in the South, people like to go to NASCAR and kind of see a car wreck. Um, so people like to come to a hockey game and, and maybe witness a fight or yeah. something like that. But really hockey is not even about that. Mm -hmm. You know, there's so much more to it. Um, yes, there is some of that, but uh, it's kind of funny after 30 years here, you have hockey purists, which I'd never think I would ever say say that um, and they don't need that they just want to see a good one nothing game hard fought physical doesn't have to be a fight but uh, um, yeah so it's kind of different and then we're really entertaining as a coach it's kind of frustrating sometimes <laughs> uh, you know what we're up three nothing going into the second period and all of a sudden we're down by one going into third period and we yeah. come back and win it overtime and there's such an em emotional roller coaster um, as a fan, as a player, and more so as a coach. So anyways, there's a lot to see. Okay. And can you tell us the time of the Legends game? Right, so Legends uh, will start, uh, I believe we have a 4.30 uh, warm up, and then we, uh, I think we believe, I, I think our game starts at 4.45, we'll go for about an hour. All the old guys, all the old guys really, we only need about 40 <laughs> minutes, 45 minutes. Yeah. The old legs aren't what they used to be. Uh, so it'll end up being like uh, like a 15 minute, 20 minute uh, straight time kind of thing. And uh, um, then we'll have an autograph session between first and second period uh, during a legend game as well. So people can kind of catch up with some of the guys that have been here for, haven't been here in a while. That will be super exciting, especially as a long term fan. I know there's a lot of fans out there that are caught mouse and definitely strong hardcore um, River Dragons fans, so I know they are going to love it. For, for sure. No, I'm pretty excited <laughs> about it. I know, uh, um, yeah, i excited and then want it to be over. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and Trey, so please tell me, what other events do you guys have coming up over at the ice rink? Um, yes, we have a, different, a lot of different events coming up. Uh, after the Jerome Bouchard Classic, we have the anniversary of the ice rink, which is April the 27th. Uh, it's going to be called Rinky's Birthday Party. So that's our mascot is Rinky, so we're celebrating um, his birthday. Also, we have um, 
a summer lock-in uh, that we're working on is in June 7th. So we're working on a summer lock-in. So those are the two events we do have coming up as we're working hard on. All right, and you can find all this information at the Columbus Ice Rings website, and you can even go onto the socials and have more information there. And that's all the time we have. Um, we'll see you guys next time at Ion Columbus. Again, I'm Jennifer Babin, and we'll see you next time at Ion Columbus.